In a lab filled with advanced equipment, Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer is deeply engrossed in complex equations. He stares at the oscillating machine in his lab. It hums and trembles. The scientist hesitates for a moment but turns the dial anyway. A vortex forms, distorting the lab's reality. Oppenheimer shields his eyes from the blinding light. A portal bursts open, ripping through the air with an electric charge. Undeterred by the unknown, Oppenheimer steps through the portal. He steps into a world of vivid colors, dreamlike architecture, and impossibly perfect landscapes. He's arrived in Barbie land. Barbie and Ken are sunbathing by a heart-shaped pool, sharing a moment of plastic bliss. Trying to blend in, Oppenheimer awkwardly drapes himself with a feathered boa he finds by a pink convertible. Huddled by the pool, Barbie and Ken cast worried glances toward the feather-clad physicist. Barbie and Ken have a brief discussion about what to do with the strange, feathered intruder. They finally reveal themselves, welcoming the stranger to their world. While the inhabitants show him the place, Oppenheimer finds a chemistry set in Barbie's science lab playset. The scientist can't help himself and starts to experiment with Barbie's chemistry set, accidentally creating a rainbow explosion. Elsewhere, dark figures known as the Corruptors sense the instability and start moving. Shadows creep into Barbie land, distorting its vibrant colors into dark, ominous hues. A look of resolve settles on Barbie's face as she acknowledges that her world isn't as safe as she once believed. Then Oppenheimer starts to scribble calculations on Barbie's dreamhouse wall in crayon. He briefly thinks he's found the solution, only to be proven wrong by an exploding Malibu dream smoothie. The dream house shakes as the corruptors break through the defenses of Barbie land. The house is falling apart. Barbie and Ken guide Oppenheimer to an antique cave laden with mysterious gemstones and ancient scrolls. They introduce him to the Harmonium, a mystical energy source that sustains Barbie land's balance. Ken recalls an old legend, the Starlight Bloom, a mythical flower that can stabilize the Harmonium. The trio quickly searches ancient records in the Grand Library of Barbie land. They discover not just one, but three relics needed to restore balance. The Starlight Bloom, the Moonstone, and the Heart of the Ocean. Barbie, Ken, and Oppenheimer congregate around the map of Barbie Land, which reveals dark regions that weren't there before. Meanwhile, the Corruptors in their lair plot to invade both worlds while the Harmonium is weak. Oppenheimer, Barbie, and Ken split up to retrieve the relics. Barbie goes into a deep cave. After wandering through its labyrinths, she arrives at a big portal of bright pink light. Inside, she finally finds the starlight bloom, glowing with latent power. Ken reaches the ocean and searches the beach until he realizes he has to dive into the water. He wrestles with a monstrous toy shark to claim the heart of the ocean. Oppenheimer ends up far away from the city, in the hills. After searching for hours, he finally finds a wall full of inscriptions. He deciphers ancient writings to unlock the moonstone from its pedestal. The trio meets again and begins a high-speed chase back to the dream house with the corruptors hot on their heels. In the middle of the race, Barbie hears her name and turns around. She looks directly at the corruptor's face. He touches the deepest core of her soul and corrupts it. Before Oppenheimer and Ken know it, Barbie disappears into a dark forest. Panicked, Ken wants to follow her, but Oppenheimer stops him and leads him back to Barbie land. Back in the lab, Oppenheimer begins making a possible antidote for Barbie, with a formula he came up with along the way. Once it's finished, the scientist and Ken return to the forest and set a trap for Barbie, capturing her in a glass box and giving her the antidote. Fortunately, the formula works, and Barbie is back to normal. Back at the Harmonium, each relic fails to fully restore the crystal, deepening the urgency. Oppenheimer suspects the relics need to be combined in a specific sequence. A Corruptor manages to get inside the cave where the Harmonium is hidden, but is expelled by a protective barrier. Oppenheimer applies the scientific method to magic, finally finding the right sequence to combine the relics. The Harmonium regains its glow, but it's not over yet. The most powerful of the Corruptors breaks through the protective barrier. Oppenheimer realizes the only way to eliminate it permanently is to use the Rainbow Bomb, a risky plan. He calculates its structure, utilizing the principles of both his world and Barbie land. Finally, the pump is ready. The scientist installs it, and everyone takes shelter. The entire world holds its breath. Then, with a resounding crack, the dark forces are expelled, disintegrated in the explosion of color. Barbie land sighs in relief, its beauty restored, its colors even more vivid. Barbie and Ken share a moment of joy, happy to see their world safe. Without missing a beat, 
Oppenheimer starts to reconstruct the portal to his own world, using the remnants of the Harmonium's energy. Back in his lab, amidst the chaos that now seems almost charming, Oppenheimer realizes the portal must be sealed for good, and in no time, it's done. The connection between the worlds is severed forever. Oppenheimer leans back in his chair to take a rest, but suddenly hears the unmistakable sound of plastic heels. He turns to find Barbie, who managed to slip through just before the portal closed. Dr. Oppenheimer can't help but facepalm. The journey, it seems, has only just begun.